Mariana woke up this morning. It's still morning time. It's only like 11. And she went to Burger King. They stopped selling breakfast. So this is what we eating. This is a Texas burger. Got jalapenos on it. That thing it looks humongous. Fortunately, y'all, we got to clean up. One white. I'm white. Paper towel. Mm-mm. She's hilarious. Sparkle. Jordan and... You got, <laughs> all right, my beautiful people. Today is the fourth that we made some sketty from the hot plates. And this was this is my salad. <laughs> that sauce that's on top of my salad is just, um, golden. Had a little leftover meat sauce from Rischetti, and I just put it on top of there. But this is what it is. We got some avocado, um, pico de gallo, ranch dressing, some Frito chips. Yeah, I forgot to get cucumbers. I love cucumbers. This is sparkle salad. Mac Alright, so we're having and actually I didn't cook so this. Basic. Oh my god, I almost She's forgot. So now. It's so beautiful when I don't have to cook. Like it really is, y'all. I didn't cook this. I did, cook this. Okay. I did yes, a, a little directing chair. I think this is a little I'm touch. Sure to be but look. <laughs> I think look at this. I'm a new daughter. Mariana made this. Okay. You know what? That hurts my heart. Alright, I'll see y'all later. All right, I decided to make myself some breakfast, and I'm sitting up here out of practice making potatoes. I'm tasting these potatoes, and I'm like, something is missing. I ain't put no bell peppers, and I got bell peppers, too. I didn't put no onion. I didn't put no garlic. Mm-mm-mm. Tripping. And I, I'm half backwards with breakfast today because my bacon is still in the oven. It's not done. Usually, I put my bacon in first. Yeah, but I didn't do that, so I'm just going to eat this and... If I still feel like a piece of bacon, is some in there. Not the kids will eat it. Tripping. Knowing these potatoes, look, they didn't look colorful. They supposed to look colorful. They look seasoned, but not colorful. What's up? So I went, every time I go to the Taco Bell that's connected to the KFC, <laughs> there's always something wrong. Either the Taco Bell ain't open, they ain't got this, they ain't doing that. So I go up there, I wanted a Mexican pizza. They said, we don't have no beef. Would you like to order from KFC? I'm like, I'm looking around. Uh, maybe I'm, do I want a Popeye? But no, I really want a Mexican pizza. And I was like, well, can you just put some steak on it? It'd be extra. How are you going to charge me for some extra shit when y'all don't have it? Well, whatever. This would be the first time I'd be eating with steak. And it looks pretty good, actually. It looks it looks like it's going to work, with this steak on there. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Just a little rant. Alright, we'll <laughs> right, today we're eating Chinese food. This is fried rice. The fried rice is pretty basic. Just some white rice with a little color in it, pretty much. The noodles is okay. It has some meat in there. And it came with, it was only like $11.99. That meat. It came with long time soup and a spicy soup. This spicy soup good. This is basic. Just some basic broth. Nothing special, but I happen to like that soup. It also came with these egg rolls, chicken egg rolls. With these little situations. I don't know what those are. And we got orange chicken. And this orange chicken is, I think it tastes better than the noodles. The noodles is kind of smushy and orange chicken tastes pretty good. All right, so this is the way you need for lunch. Okay, we're having some leftover skeddy. Cheesy, spicy biscotti. Well, it's not really spicy this time. Yeah, Sparkle didn't even say anything about spice. It's not spicy at all. But it has spicy Italian generic sauces. Not my usual sauces I buy. I couldn't even take, taste any spice. But this is what we're having. And I believe it's the, the 11th of March. 
So I didn't get to make it to the grocery store today. It's Sunday. Um, so I just made me a, a turkey leg. Like I've been in love with these turkey legs. I didn't. I didn't. Um, I didn't make it smother. I mean, not smother. Stuffed. Just a regular turkey leg. See, the kids wanted some chicken nuggets and tater tots. I didn't want that. So I just made me some turkey leg. And when I tell you this turkey leg. Ooh, shoot. Push that back. This is so tender. Ooh. I'm deciding not to stuff it. That's good. I'm just going to out the oven. You usually let it sit for a while so all the juices could get back in there. But I played with mine a little bit. I ain't got time for that. Mm -mm. These smoked turkey legs is going to be like my new thing. So, yeah. The kids' food is still in the oven, so I get a little more crispy. I'm watching Leap the Weapon 2. Something me and my foster dad we used to watch. My sister Shelly, he had all the Leap the Lethal Weapons. We're just a movie back in my childhood. It's Sunday, the time going back today. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. I gotta make you on one of these turkey legs. It's good. <laughs> it don't even have to be stuffed, it's good. It's just good. It's hot. Ooh, that's hot. Alright, y'all. All right, what's up, my beautiful people? Today I'm trying a Jack in the Box fish sandwich. Let me just show you what it looks like. All right. Got two pieces of fish on there. Look pretty meaty, too. But it didn't come with no combo, so I got the new combo um, chicken nuggets. They're spicy and original because it came with the fries and the drink. Because only, this only came with just a sandwich. But yeah, so. Chicken tender. A little dry. You got a little crunch to it. Yeah, alright. Let me get into the sandwich, though. So the fish sandwich ain't bad. It really ain't bad. I need some hot sauce or something. But it ain't bad. I would get this again. I would. It's like... Remind me of the McDonald's just... More better. Way better than that. Because it got two. The patties are a little more crispier and fuller. Yeah. That was pretty good. Some on her plate so she can eat up sleep right now, anyway. Some sausage, homemade potatoes, bacon, eggs, and biscuits. Yes, sir. Another Mariana Finest. All right, what's up, my beautiful people? It's the day after thanks, not Thanksgiving, Lord, St. Patrick's Day, March with 18th. And I got some sausage, some bacon, some eggs, and some homemade potatoes, some coffee, some orange juice, and some strawberries. And she made pancakes, but I don't want no pancakes. Mariana made it. This this right here, I'm going to tear it up. 
Say it up. Hey, let me get a fork. Free cable for Another breakfast from the Mariana. Eggs. Homemade potatoes. Some sausages and some bacon. And I got some orange juice here. Did you make some coffee? Yeah, it's brewing. Yes, and I got some coffee on the way. <laughs> Don't you love when you make, make breakfast? You get up and somebody else cook it for you. And it, it, it'd be like all real food. It ain't nothing come out the box. Don't you love that? I know I do. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Get over here. Help me. Over here. Sit your ass down right here. I'm going to go back to you. What's up, my beautiful people? I'm trying today the new spicy flounder fish sandwich from Popeye's. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying. I got some... Popcorn, shrimp, some mashed potatoes that come with a biscuit and a drink. And I put, I added this one. I want to try this fish sandwich. All right, y'all. Okay, I like this. It has a little spice to it. I like this fish sandwich better than the um, Jack in the Box fish sandwich. But I will try this next time with a double fish. Because Jack in the Box had that double fish, so it was giving me... A little meaty flavors, you know, but this fish tastes better, has more flavor. So next time I'll try this with a double piece of fish. Maybe even some cheese. It ain't gonna help. Alright, I'll see y'all later. Alright, today we're eating Williams chicken with some okra and little fries, some rolls, some spicy rice. So my mama gave us a sandwich with chicken. Then we're gonna take my chicken out. <laughs> That's what we're eating today. Golden always tearing it up. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. What's up, my beautiful people? So, I want to try this new Frito Chili Cheese Burrito from Sonic's. It's only like a dollar seventy. It's a little dry. It's a lot of dry. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Let me take one more bite. Now. I started to get this with extra cheese and chili. It had a feeling it was going to be thin. But the chips on here make it dry. And I don't... Mm -hmm. It didn't give me no hot sauce or nothing, but this whatever, y'all. It's all right. It's only a dollar or something. I'm I'm not impressed though. Nah, I'm not impressed. So my neighbor made some Nigerian stew. Man, this shit's so bomb. It's so good. It's so good. I gotta learn. I gotta figure it out. I'm finna figure it out. Oh, we is good. Okay, my daughter's back at home, so it's back to my lazy way. That's canned corned beef hash and some fried egg at the top with a little cheese on it. Mm -hmm. that, that's good. Tomorrow, I kind of want a mushroom and spinach omelet, so I might be doing that tomorrow. You want to take that away from me? That's fine. Get that money from. Now, I don't want okay, um, I made me, got up and made me an omelet. It's a little messy, actually, but it has pico in it. It has um spinach and mushrooms and a little bit of chicken in there. I had a few pieces of chicken left, so I just put it in there. And I got some avocado on top, and I got some cheddar cheese. I was going to do it different today, but when I seen I had a little bit of chicken in it, I went on and used it. But um, I was going to put a little chorizo. Not chorizo. What is it called? Wow, I can't remember. Yeah, chorizo. I was going to cook that and then make an omelet with it. Try to make an omelet with it. 
But when I found the chicken, I changed my mind. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. But anyway, this is what I'm eating this morning. It was actually afternoon because I got a late late start today. But anyway, I got me a cheese and mushroom and chicken omelet. All right, it's been a long day. Had to go to the bank to prove that I paid my rent in November. Now, remind me, it's about to be April. And they telling me I didn't pay no rent in November. So I got the proof, took it up there. It's always something. But anyway, got some Jack in the Crack. It's a little cold now because I got that on the way to proving it to my landlord. So, y'all, this month is almost over. It's about to be April. All right, then. Okay, so it was supposed to be an omelet, but I, yeah, I messed it up. But anyway, <laughs> it's good. I said I want to try some chorizo, some spinach and mushroom and cheese omelet, and that's what I did. Now, this chorizo was a better grade and brand than what I usually buy. I usually buy that greasy, very fine, it, just like hamburger meat. It's so thick and chunky. I wasn't expecting that because I never had this type of grade of chorizo before. I always get that cheap stuff. So now I'm going to be buying this from now on. It was good. This is good. Mushrooms, the cheese, the spinach. Got some avocado right there. And it's Friday, so my kids don't eat spinach and cheese omelets. Sparkle don't even eat them, and she loves vegetables. She eats cheese omelets, like cheese and ham. That's what she eat. Golden would eat an omelet, but he ain't want no spinach, and he don't want the mushrooms in there. So, I really just had to cook this for myself. But anyway, I'm drinking coffee and some tea. And this is what I'm having this morning. Chilling, no kids, quiet, because the weekend is here. And it's back to the usual. And I believe today is the last day of March. I think tomorrow is April Fool's. Oh, I'm finna get down. Oh, I'm finna get that ass tonight. All right, bye. Today I made breakfast burritos with fries, chorizo, and eggs and cheese, and pico de gallo. I would have showed you mine, but mine's gone. <laughs> Today is April Fool's, y'all. This is the and I forgot to fool my kids last night. <laughs> All right, today's April Fool, and I made some squash and some stewed chicken and rice. Now, I don't really want to call this stewed chicken because I didn't have none of the herbs. But I did it something like stewed chicken with bell peppers and onions. This is squash. This is my first time ever. I ate squash plenty of times, but I never made it without it being fried or in an um, eggplant casserole. Or in some sketty. So, this is the first time I actually just made it for a side dish. But anyway, I don't know if y'all can see this. I got some carrots in there, some celery, bell peppers, onions, garlic. I have no ginger, no um thyme. I didn't have none of the herbs, but I want I wanted it. Mm. Oh wow! Damn, that was good. <laughs> Mm, wow. Now, it don't taste like the first time I made it at all. It tastes like something totally different, but it's still good. All right, y'all. It's April Fool's. I done got diamond. I done got golden. I done got the neighbor next door. I'm going to have to get, I'm gonna get a couple more people for 12 o'clock hit. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm going to make. Lima beans, rice, some neck bones, some candy yams, some greens. All right, today's Monday. <clears throat> Golden didn't go to school today. So I couldn't make my spinach. I'm, I ain't got no more um, mushrooms. I forgot to use all the mushrooms. But I got some spinach. I could have made some spinach and cheese omelet, but Golden here today. So I decided to order Winnie's breakfast. Now, I never had Winnie's breakfast before. These potato wedges, wedges are, they're not bad, y'all. I mean, they're really not bad. But this is the Baconator, the sausage Baconator, breakfast batter, or whatever it's called. 
bacon sausage egg and it got more bacon at the top and cheese and me and golden this is what we're having so yeah golden is actually talking to me sleep right now he's sleep this took an hour to come i thought it was gonna be cold but it's not how dare you <laughs> okay now he's up <laughs> yeah, this is how he wakes up. No, All right. How dare you do this? And that's your bucket right there. It's right there. You tell why you crying. I got you one. You go back to sleep. No, don't. Okay. We got a cheeseburger, which I happen to like the Mexican burger better. It has avocado, um, chalizo, lettuce, tomatoes. It's so much better than it, but Golden don't like all that. And then the kids also got some corn cassada fries. I kind of split up for them. Then I got a Rio taco plate. All right, so that's what we're eating tonight. See you later. All right, what's up, my beautiful people? Um, I made me a vet, a vegetarian omelet, a vegetable omelet. Um, I use the rest of my spinach. I have no more mushrooms, so I just have yellow bell peppers orange and red some fresh chopped jalapenos and when i was chopping it i didn't smell the heat so i put some pickled jalapenos in there too just in case and some green onions chopped up with some festa cheese and i got some avocado on there yeah and this is late too i was like almost five o'clock it's been a long day long night so i just got up Finally got hungry, so I said, let me make something to eat. Kid's going to be coming home in a minute. And I got to go pick up my daughter from the train station. She's coming out here for Easter and birthdays and everything else. So I will see you guys. I'll probably be back on here tomorrow. If not, we'll definitely be back on here by Easter because today is Friday, I believe, the 6th. And Easter is Sunday. I got breakfast this morning, some sausage, some eggs, some toast, and some coffee. Mariana whipped up some breakfast right quick. I'm tired. Got a lot of stuff to do and ain't got no time to do it. All right, today Mariana made some waffles, some sausage, some bacon, some homemade eggs. I mean, homemade potatoes and eggs. Rihanna actually cooked the eggs today, y'all. So this is... Another breakfast I'm about to tear up. Sparkle make the waffles. Because we're about to start boiling eggs, getting dying eggs. It's tomorrow is Easter, y'all. I think I found. I don't want to have no baby tears. Okay, baby, give me, just give me one. Huh? Happy Easter. It's Easter breakfast, sauces, eggs, potatoes. Yes, sir, and some coffee. So I got a water burger, and I don't understand why they only got one piece of cheese on three patties. <sighs> These fries are good. <laughs> it's gonna be a dry ass burger. <laughs> Look at these eggs, potatoes, bacon, and sausage. <laughs> Homemade. Baked sadidi, whatever it's called. It's good. Eating leftover baked sadidi, whatever it's called. <laughs> Sausage, bacon, toast, potatoes, eggs, coffee, and orange juice. Green onions and parsley in the eggs. Bell peppers, onions, and garlic in the potatoes. That's how you do it. Tonight we're having chili cheese dogs and chili cheese fries. I got some peppers. Got on regular bread. I had some Hawaiian rolls and I forgot to put them on there. I was like, man, I want to put it on the Hawaiian roll. But some fresh grated cheese I have on there. Got some diced onions. Yeah, I forgot to put some mustard on there too. But this is what we're eating. Chili cheese dogs. Fresh cheese. 
Today I decided to do some um, sliders. I only had some turkey pastrami. I got some provolone, some hot pepper cheese. I melted a little butter with um, parsley and garlic seasoning and some parmesan on top. Now I need some the the, the, par the parsley just to throw on top of it. I'm gonna put it in the oven until it melts. And this is what we're eating for dinner, y'all. I should cut up the cucumber. That's what I should do. <laughs> I always seen these things. And I was like, oh, I want to try it. They do it with the hamburger meat, the meatballs, ham. They do it with all kind of stuff. I said, I want, I want to try this. I got this. I made a mess, y'all. I got these cheap parsley flakes and bagel leaf, and basil, basil leaf. I think I'm gonna put both of them on top. First, let me put the basil. I didn't really put that much basil on there. Just a little bit of sprinkles. Now I go heavily with the glitter for food, the parsley. Doesn't parsley just make everything look so much prettier? So I'm going to bake this into the oven until, I don't know, 10 minutes, 50, I don't know. When the cheese gets melty and gooey and ooey, I put that melter butter on top with some seasonings. So it's looking pretty good. Sparkle, she's going to put it in the oven. Open the oven first. Open the oven first. And then come back and get it. Okay. So this is what we're eating for dinner. Be back. All right, the kids loved them. We'd have been eight. They didn't cool off now, but they were good. This is how they came out looking. Steak, macaroni, cheese, string beans, and broccoli cheddar rice. Mm -hmm. You got the same thing I got. This good. Rice good. You look weird though. It's string beans. Eat it. You look weird though. <laughs> some corned beef hash and some eggs with some uh, hot pepper cheese on top. And dobo and rice. This seedless watermelon is so good. Put that tam heem on it. Move your finger. Yeah. Mm. I'm eating it. Yay, mama. No more. Alright, I made me an omelet. I've already been eating it. It's pretty good. I have red bell peppers, yellow and orange bell peppers, onion, and cheese. And some little Chinese garlic. It's a little bit of Chinese garlic paste. And some seasoning. And it's, it's good. It's hitting the spot. Oh, and some cilantro. It's working it out this morning. And I also cut up a chili pepper and a hot banana pepper in. It gave it a cool little crunch and a little hint of spice. Some tuna casserole. But I have to stop cooking this big. I have two kids now, 10 and under. They ain't finna eat all this. When, they, when you're used to cooking for a big family. This tuna salad is good. I mean... Tuna casserole is good. I put a can of string beans and corn in there. I made, I made it some cheese sauce with these Hawaiian rolls. It's good. It's onions, bell peppers, garlic. A mixed pasta. Yeah, it's pretty good, y'all. It's creamy, it's rich. Yep. I made me a breakfast burrito, what mean? ground sausage, just, cheesy, I can't out a way eggs, to hash brown. This is one big breakfast burrito. I did the same thing as yesterday. Hash browns. Breakfast ground sausage. Cheese. Eggs. Fresh green onions. I want to do one of these authentic though. I want some chalizo in there, refried beans, a little rice, eggs. That's what I want to do. But anyway. All right. I got some potato salad, some greens, some baked beans, and some country style steaks. That's what we're eating for dinner. All right. I got, made me a breakfast sandwich today. It has cheese, hash brown, eggs, and bacon. Mm -hmm. 
the leftovers, baked beans, short ribs, potato salad, and greens. It's a rainy day outside, and I need to go grocery shopping. But I couldn't go to the store today, so I had some skinny noodles, had some cheese, had some bell peppers, had some onions, had some frozen string beans, canned, canned chicken, and some sausage. And I put it all together, made me a cheese sauce with a heavy whipping cream and garlic and onions and bell peppers and called it a day. And it is good. It doesn't look that a pe it doesn't look that good, but it is good. So I don't quite know what this is. First of all, okay, I do know what it is. It's baked beans, some potato salad, and some stuff I made up last night, some pasta with some chicken and and sausage. And I fried me up a whole fish. So I had leftovers, but I didn't have no more meat. Kids told me to so and you shall buy two packs of country style steaks but i always cook too much so i only bought one pack and i wish i would have bought two because when i tell you the kids told it up the kids told it up so I, I had fish in there or some other ribs and i wasn't gonna make a whole slab of ribs for no little bit leftover so i fried some fish that's what i did a whole catfish and none of this go together i got greens ain't none of this go together but you know i did what i did when you look in your refrigerator and you just put all your leftovers together. I got some potato salad, baked beans, chicken, sausage, parmesan, pasta, sketty sauce, pasta, and a whole fish. And some greens. Okay, I want to try breakfast burrito from Taco Cabana. And this is the steak. Steak and egg. And it's very egg heavy. I had added cheese to it because I guess they don't come with cheese. But it's very, I'm not steak heavy, egg heavy. And then I got the chorizo and potato, and it's very dry. Like, it's... <sighs> Comes with these sauces and everything else, but yeah. Oh, well. Here's some boule nachos. And the reason why I call these boule nachos, because I have no fresh jalapeno, no pickled jalapeno. No sour cream or avocado. No tomatoes. Whatever I had in my cabinet I made. It's one of them broke budget days. And this is what it is. I got some ground beef, chili beans, refried beans, fested cheese. I already grated. I didn't even grate it myself, y'all. This is the boule. Fresh onions, cilantro, olives, and some cheese and some some um what is these called banana peppers because I, I didn't have any jalapenos and some lemon i didn't squat i didn't squeeze on there so it doesn't taste like my nachos but it's gonna have to do all right y'all